Hello there, I'm Natalie. So this video is part of a playlist where I show you how I create and upload a kid's journal onto the Amazon KDP platform. I discuss every stage of the journey and hope to make it easier for you. So let's jump into this video. So here we are at kdp.amazon.com forward slash cover hyphen calculator, or you can just go straight to Google and type in KDP cover calculator. Very easy to find. Bookmark this page because you will use this time and time again if you're making your own covers. So it just it's a very, very simple form you complete and it gives you a download that you can bring into Canva or whatever design software you're using for your covers. If we're making a paperback with a black and white interior, white paper, the cream paper must be thicker, I believe, because you can have less pages with cream paper. Left to right, page turn direction. We're working in inches. Interior trim size. Our book for this example is an 8.5 by 11 inch. This shows you everything that Amazon will allow you to create. Page count. We obviously need to know this so that the spine is accounted for. I've done a bit of research on Amazon and I've had a look at what these draw and write little mini journals for kids generally have. It's between 100 and 130 pages. So I'm going to go for 120 pages and then we calculate the dimensions. Instantly, this will bring up a template. In my last video, I was discussing bleed or no bleed, and that is for an interior of a book. That's something that you have to decide before you start making it. When it comes to the covers, there will always be bleed. You will always have bleed on a cover and your design will go past the trim point and that will get cut off. So it's very important to know that. So the full cover size will be 17.52 by 11.25 inches. So you could just use these numbers and go straight into Canva and type them in. But what I tend to do and what I would recommend if you're fairly new to this is to download the template. It will come in as a zipped file, so just extract it into your file explorer. So we now have the template as a PNG or a PDF. So we can put this straight into Canva. Let's create a design, custom size, 17.52. Oh, we must remember to change pixels to inches. 17.52, 11.25. We've got the margins on here. I'm going to just turn those off. That's from the last video where I was talking about bleed or no bleed inside of the interiors of your books. As I said, covers are always a bleed document. So there you go, your template is now in your document and you can stretch it to the size of the canvas, which will fit exactly. And you now can work to these margins. So this is showing us, let's just zoom in. This is our trim line. So the bleed is the pink, peachy pink area and the trim line is gonna be here. So we need to just be very aware of that when we are designing. Down here, we're going to have a barcode printed, so we don't we don't want any important information to go there either. And of course, we can see the spine as well. So the dotted line is giving an indication of where the fold will be, and it could move a few millimeters either way. That's why we've got this kind of pink area. This, how do they describe it? Out of live. Your background artwork must fill the red area. Do not place logos, text, or essential images in the red area. If your artwork does not meet these requirements, it may be rejected. Rejections are common on Amazon. Oh, I've moved it already. So it really is as simple as that. So once you've got your template there, you can work on top of it, behind it, and because we've now got the position layers option, we can move this template forward and backward so that we don't always have to obviously have it there visible but we can keep referring to it and make sure that we are working in the area that we want to be. Let me just title this. So in the next couple of videos, we will create our cover. We'll also create our interior for our kids journal and we will start the upload process. This video is part of a mini series. So if you haven't seen the videos before or after, be sure to go check out the playlist. See you in the next one.